Hello. I've posted a number of videos over the years regards using seaweed in your garden. And I've used lots of seaweed in my garden. And one recurring question, one recurring comment that comes up time after time is the question of salt. Is there any salt on seaweed? Is it harmful? Should you wash the seaweed before you use it? And my answer has always been there is some salt on seaweed but it's residual. It's negligible. And there is no need to wash that salt off the seaweed. Um, and I never do. I simply chop the seaweed and drop the seaweed. Um, but let me give you a flavour of some of the comments I've had over the uh, over the um, years that I've been posting these seaweed videos. And this is from Alex's family. Hi HGV, do you wash the seaweed with fresh water or is salt not a problem? Laura Ashley comments, howdy, very interesting episode. Do you just scrape up the seaweed from the beach? Do you wash off the salty water? Thanks and have a happy day. Well, thank you, Laura. Dan Hughes uh, comments, are you harvesting the seaweed yourself from the beach? Is the salt a problem? Billy Bass comments, the salt in the seaweed doesn't hurt your soil? Question mark. Sue, isn't the seaweed salty? Question mark. Bondi, do you rinse the salt water off the seaweed? And last one from Lokins, I was curious, do you wash the salt off the seaweed before you compost it? Okay, well, I've given you answers to all of those in previous um, videos, but what I haven't done, I haven't done a taste test. And I've got to tell you right now, I'm not going to be doing a taste test, and neither is Molly, and she'll eat most things. And so will I, but you're not getting a taste test. Uh, but what I'm going to do, um, I've borrowed a couple of uh, clips from a video I've been watching um, that I'm going to post on this video, and some text that I think I might have got from Wikipedia. Uh, and that's going to be on this video. Uh, read the text, have a look at the couple of screenshots uh, with the text, and then I'm going to give you a link to a video that'll show you seaweed being eaten directly from the rocks. This is live seaweed being eaten directly from the rocks at low tide. Uh, now for landlubbers, low tide is when the tide is at its furthest away from the seashore and the seaweed has just been uncovered. So that seaweed has been swishing about in salt water for hours upon hours upon hours. So that seaweed is as salty as it's likely to be. If there's any salt on seaweed, that is when the seaweed will be at its most salty. Okay, watch that video, then come back to me. It, tell me if you think there is any salt on seaweed that we need to be worried about when all we are doing is composting that seaweed and using it in our garden. Okay, now Molly and me are going to finish up our walk today on this windswept, lonely seashore uh, and we'll catch you later. Thanks for watching. Molly, smile the camera. Good girl, hey, what a dog. <laughs>